Hand clap to the master, guys. You definitely back again for another one of the one only Mr. Lix reaction channel, guys. Big up the Mr. Lix YouTube family from all across the world. <laughs> All across the universe, brothers and sisters, we have people all across the universe watching Mr. Lix YouTube channel. Big up yourself, right? I don't know if only a YouTube wave on here, but big up all of y'all. I don't know what I said, but big up the Mr. Lix YouTube family for definitely tuning into this year reaction video. And of course, the new comments are there. Hand clap to you guys. The new comments are big up yourself for tuning into this year reaction video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the notifications. Notifications when they tend to come through. This is, of course, me reacting to different videos brought about. Um, by the Mr. Lix YouTube family or if I see something rather interesting this video in question is one of the videos right there that was brought about by the Mr. Lix YouTube family and of course I also was one of the individuals watching this video live right there and I noticed a number of things that were rather interesting brothers and sisters hopefully we get to point that out here today so with that said guys don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post, no post notification so you can get them videos and don't forget to download the YouTube app by the way guys I also drop an aerial video today uh rosalie it's interesting when you watch our rivers brothers and sisters and i keep mentioning this time and time over time again that our rivers are going down we actually had the rosalie river rosalie bay river and um you can clearly see where the river was before and how it is now it is about 10 percent of the river remains brothers and sisters or less than that and we get to enjoy what remains but if, 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 if we don't look for ourselves brothers if we don't do something about these rivers depleting in the next 10, 15, 20 years, brothers and sisters, Dominica will be in a drought. Because I tell you, yeah, because them rivers there, they, what? Uh, the thing that hit me the most was Lai River, brothers and sisters. I remember surfing in the Lai River. And right now, if you watch the Lai River, you can't, you, you, you couldn't, you cannot do that again. Ah, yeah, 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 brothers and sisters, going Rosalie again. We actually saw that very thing right there. It's about less than 10 maximum, less than 10% of the river actually remains and i did an aerial shot of that that'll be in the first comment in the comment box below so you guys can definitely check that out right there anyways guys this video of course is of lofty durant and of course he was one of the individuals who brought out uh um, based on the facts he brought out what took place um as a result of the the quote-unquote madman um being taken out by the police because apparently the police didn't seem to understand that this guy is the only person that would know where kanisha is and they are still on the search, still on search for this very little girl right there. After they took out the very man, the very man that would know where this girl is. Anyways, guys, uh, so Lofty had an interview. The, the father, uh, me and the father actually met up some time back. You guys most likely saw him in my, my vlog video uh, when I went up to um, um, the Warner area. And we actually met up in Portsmouth and he's like, we need to meet up and talk and this kind of things. Like, we definitely meet up to talk and so forth. But he actually did an interview with them. And I think that's pretty much covering the whole thing right there. So I will definitely post this link in the description below so you guys can check it out. Definitely check it out right there. Anyways, guys, let's get into this nitty gritty. Uh, stop your dirty ways. <laughs> yes, hi. Stop your. You having problems? Oh, who that? Tian was abducted from her home. That's where she lived in Warner. With her you know what I will, let's get to the father part it, it's beautiful she comes mm -hmm. on that sad night of june 7th 2022 at about 10 30 p.m in the one area page good afternoon to your brother and welcome yeah, good good afternoon sir um and good afternoon to all you know i understand good afternoon. why i'm here today is to really give my side of my true story from things even before my child was born okay all right good <laughs> and and again mr etienne i want to thank you very much loftus jira good let me let me start okay. you know, can you describe can you describe your daughter to us <laughs> well my my daughter is a very jovial girl like i mean jovial in chief everybody she feel your spirit it, it, it's beautiful she'll come and communicate if you you don't have to call her she'll come to you and tell you you're looking beautiful or you're looking nice and she would ask you questions that i always tell in my daughter on her journey in life yes because i give her the story of her mom and i tell her is her is her choice if she want to say it or not but i give her this story um so the daughter knew about her mother okay i was telling her Baby, respect and love, that is the key. And it will get you where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Be brave 
and don't afraid to speak out your heart. You know, so that is the, all, all these the little tools I give her on her journey. Um, I still keep in hope alive that she is so messy. It's my duty to do that in my heart. Because that, that, that's a good hope to have. It's my blood, you know. And um, as I say, I'm there to give the story from the beginning. To ask you again, um, in terms of, of, of the relationship that you guys have because she's mm -hmm. still presumed to be alive yes what is the kind of what, what sort of relationship of the daughter mr etienne mm -hmm. do you have with your daughter well me and my daughter have some relationship in spite of the energies me and the caretaker to have a strong relationship that is why i come out here to give this story so it could it will fit in and then and then i will work on my wisdom not on my emotions so right now i work on my in my wisdom on what my eyes collect, what me and my times me and my daughter spend together, that is what I come to really okay. express. A little friend cr crash. I hope to know I don't have none yet. She was coming there on a regular basis. Relationship. That is what I come to really express myself on. Because me and my daughter had a relationship. Me and my daughter had a strong relationship. Even when a year and a half ago when me and my last little friend cr crash i hope to know i don't have none yet hmm. she was coming there on a regular basis okay not at my home my home not suitable but at my girlfriend's home at the time okay you know she had a little daughter and you no know, i don't want to talk to her because all now so me and her the ex-girlfriend break up but it she suffered because she had the relationship with her you know even her little daughter too mm -hmm. so i want to talk because a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know. Okay? On the other hand, the, the, the caretaker, me, from my own heart. Not welfare, me. From my own heart, under the pressure. I'll give the story. Mm -hmm. I was. I tell her, help me. Because she was in the same family, in the same yard, in, the same, in a different houses, but the same yard. Community. Okay, so I. I go and tell her under pressure and you I, I know you're a nice person. Who is that her you talking about? Who, who you call and say you're not? Miss Ka. Okay. The one that key and chop her husband. Okay, so so that is the adopted parents you're talking yes, about. The yes. wife of the man that Yes, the chopped. adopted mo mother. Okay, what what, what did okay. you tell her? Pardon? What did you tell her under the pressure you said you were on in terms of of, of Kunisha? Yes, how how did she end up being with them? Right, I asked her to help me. Because I go through welfare too. That is why I want to go to, and in my story, to give this story for so people can understand. Ended up being living in Wana with her adopted parents. How? Just how? How is, okay. That is part of the story. Let me just cut it. Okay. Yeah. Under the pressure when welfare disappointed me four times, I didn't know what to do. Because where my child mother put my baby, at the time she was younger, my baby, at the age of three, I didn't like the area because rats was running. She <laughs> left my daughter at, at the aunties. At that time, I was in love with another girlfriend from Guadeloupe. <laughs> she always got Guadeloupe bring down things. Sometimes the French woman come down, because she was a French, she would bring down things for my daughter to eat. It was nice until she go and tell, I mean, the welfare of title, I don't like my, 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 you know. So where exactly was that you talking about? Stock family, Stock they have been the same family. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, uh, okay. yeah, different auntie maker house, there, the brother. Okay. Loving one of my child mother's uncle. I hope you understand. Yes, yes. The yes. breakdown, yes? I'm getting the drift. Good. So in the same year, but she was there. So she, she was experiencing you know, witnessing what I was going through and what the child was going through too. Mm. We understand what okay, I try to say. So I had to get my mom and tell my mom, mother, I put my trust in you, help me. Because as a man, look, that lady go back. After I go back and tell her, to come and look at the place. Just so watch the place for me. Come and see it for yourself. Yes, for so well, okay. show was about how old then? Three years. Three years. And, uh, okay. The mother was, was still there, you know. The mother didn't go missing yet. You know. okay. That is when I start my, my journey, you know. Yes. Because I didn't put in no more confidence in the mother. Oh, I don't want to say no more about 
the mother. Mm -hmm. Disappointed in the mother. Go down there. Okay. You yes. know, it's now everybody at her team. I really don't want to go down and see what the mother was doing the lifestyle. I would not say. Yeah, she was living a certain life. But I didn't like it. So I decide I I go into her to let her come and watch the place. Even the aunties on the other side, even the grandmother too. I used to so from my understanding, apparently the mother was always believing a certain lifestyle. And then because of that, the father felt like his daughter should not be going or... or, or, or and be, Well, the mother was living a certain lifestyle. And as a result of that lifestyle, the daughter wasn't being taken care of. So the father saw this and was like, he brought welfare and whatnot to them for him to check out the place that, the, the, that they have his child. So I'm guessing he's thinking of trying to take the child or something like that. And as a result of that, that didn't happen. So let's continue. Communicating quite open to her. Look, so and look, so she was giving me advice. So go okay. to welfare. Do not take it on your own. Yes. When I go to welfare, welfare didn't come. She the same auntie where my child mother lived the, mm -hmm. my baby in the old stupid house. She go back and tell welfare and my child molest. I touched my child. Hmm. And my child was months old. So I'm guessing that the, the mother of the child got jealous of him and the Guadeloupe girl and as a result of him trying to take the child, the, the mother made, concocted a story to make him look like he was abusing, you know, the little one right there in, 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 in manner reasons. And without evidence, it seems like, because based on the storyline, without evidence, the welfare believed them. Hmm. I will get into something, guys. I watch, I know I watch them people, I tell them, Okay, all right. Is I just say yes. I was a child molester. I touched my child, but come and see the condition. Okay, they didn't help me. I decide. Let me take it on my own. I call my mom. I say, Mom, I going to take the matter to court to see if they will not do it in a professional way for me to help me. Mm -hmm. My mother, me and my mother go four times. They are June once. They are June twice. Hmm. Three times. That court system in Dominica, boy. The fourth time, they give the lady, the, the, the fourth time the lady never attend. I never saw her face on, uh, all the time this uh, journey. The fourth time, they give her a salmon behind my back. I'm talking the truth, you know, God knows. My mother is my witness. When I find it taking time before they give us salmon, I tell mommy, let us go to see what they say. Maybe, maybe. The, but if they have a date in anything, when I go, they say, well, um, Mr. Etienne and Mrs. Anne um, Etienne, um, the case has been called. I say, how? Oh. They say, oh, they don't get salmon. I say, nobody don't give me no salmon to come out a date. So I say, what is the fate of my child? Oh, we just, we give the same auntie. Okay, okay so, so what you say, let, 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 to what you're saying, bro, so... The case was called behind your back and Kanisha was given to the adopted parents. Yes. Okay. The same auntie that they didn't come and inspect the home. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I know you, I acknowledge you said before that you don't want to speak about Kanisha's mother. mother. I accept that. But but I, I must ask you do, can you just go a little in terms of describing her? Because a lot of As a journalist, I, I understand you're trying to set him up, but if you set in in the question up in that way that going to then bring back to what the person say you know but if you're trying to make it seem you can then yeah coax the person into releasing certain information um without them feeling a certain way about it so i, I but i guess that's his style the persons just know she got missing and and that is still uh, you see and look, that is still I, and I just say that very day, unclear in some person's mind you know, I don't want to go back there. You don't want to go back there. It, you could just ask. So, what was the mother like uh, when it comes down to after after you know the incident in the court? Uh, what 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 was like? You could just say these things instead of bringing that back. And but anyways, it, it um... okay okay. Point taken, no problem. I what I can say now. It was a rough time for me there. It, I don't she, want to go back in that memory now. Was she taking care of Kanisha before she gone vanished? That is a no. good question. That is what you should ask. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's why she had to let go of her okay. the auntie. The auntie. Okay. All right. Good. That, yeah, that's that's, that's that's not acceptable. I, I I realize you don't want to. Go. In terms of the relationship that you and that young lady had when you guys brought about Kanisha, 
any time in that relationship that you guys did she know key and then did you know key and then no no uh -huh. i know boy 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 i know she was in the life she had lifestyle she had i don't want to say that is a good that's a nice way of setting up the question what kind of lifestyle mm -hmm. it was a lifestyle she was everywhere okay most time i used to be also looking for her too she was everywhere hmm. you know but she has another son Hmm. I Somebody would say else. Like I, 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 I nature this son from stomach. Okay. She, she was a runaway girl too. She hmm. was on the streets. I, I, I met her on the streets. Okay. When her grandmother was grieving because. So, so guys, before I continue, so it seems like welfare also failed that little girl too. Because if the girl made a claim and there's literally no evidence of that claim. And he's telling you guys, come and see where this little girl is staying at her little age. Wouldn't you need to listen to what he has to say? And then make your judgments as a result of that logical, factual judgments. So you mean to tell me people can just say anything? For example, I remember there was a story in the United States where an individual was, uh, uh, some, some girl was saying that an individual gripped you guys know what i'm talking about gripped we have to use the g for the gripped he gripped her only to find out later on that she lied about it because some guy liked her and she didn't want the other guy to she didn't want that guy that she liked to feel anyway as a result of her dealing with the the black guy so she said but it seems like they didn't punish her nothing like that they just let the guy go the guy lost his scholarship, he lost everything. So it seems like people are just taking people's word just because they say it. That's it. Try that with me and all you see. <laughs> Try that. There was police were looking for to you know this thing. That's not right, man. Because if that was the case, most likely the girl would be with him. And if she was with him, it seems like he's a cool guy, another guy. He seems like a cool guy raising his little one, you know. It would be nice to have a female there because females can only teach females to be females. Good ones can only teach females. Men cannot teach women to be females, you know. Just like women cannot teach men to be men. That doesn't work. This is why you have a lot of fellas with emotional un instability. They grow up with women, not to say they're not good citizens in society, you know. It's just that a lot of them have emotion. They cannot control their emotions. This is why people are, some fellas are very quick to act without thinking. A emotional emotional basis because they didn't have a proper father figure same thing with him but i'm sure that she would have been alive today in the case of him doing his job doing his work and what have you and of course being able to take care of his, his, his little one maybe bring him by his, her, his mother or something when he has to work go for afterwards you know those kind of things there but of course that seems welfare also failed that little one as well so welfare has some responsibility to take even long time back. If what he's saying there is on the, on the right track and he says he has evidence on this, his mother is one of them. So that's interesting. I okay. want to go back in this thing then. All right, that's understandable. How, first of all, who gave you that news? Well, well um, people that know me and my daughter gave me that news. They called me. They say, but, but look at your daughter. I was in work, you know. Look at your daughter. Not, look at your daughter. They go with. Look at I said, are you, are you making joke, man? I, and what's going on? Then they, they send a picture for me. I say, wow, my daughter, away. Because people know. One time. Okay. So I didn't waste no time. I went on the site. One same, time. The same Wednesday they get to know that. Mm -hmm. I go on the site and I know in the bush. One time. Okay. I don't gonna lie, guys. I never. I don't have a daughter or nothing, but at least little cousins. And if anything have to happen to these little cousins of mine, these little girl cousins, man. Anything I bore you mad. And then that's your daughter right there. You go in some person, just take your, your little one and go. And that that's and that up to now they'll find her. And police take the one one person that would know where she is. They take him out. Did the did the adopted parents made made any contact with you? Uh uh. Hmm. No contact. Or well, they had beef man or something. In a matter of fact. Guys, do you want me to do an interview with him? I know he told me he doesn't want to come on camera, but he came on camera on this one. Um, but but do you guys want me to do an interview with him? I think maybe I can 
I don't know. We'll see. I have a way of, of, of anyways. When it's in February, March, me and I have a contract on a cold, or what say? The indicator car. Something good for my daughter. And I was in tweet, it was happy to me. Okay. <laughs> She found the place in Masak, but she, you know, where the person you know, would have nurtured my daughter, you know, you know, way to teach her stuff because it's a teacher that, you know. So I say, I opt for it, man. Any amount, if I have to pay and so on, how much and so on. But it happened when I tried to call her the other week to tell her what's going on are you. I don't know exactly where that person is, but it's you that know where to meet you because we always contact him to meet places. Mm -hmm. Even when she buy the market, my daughter would come down, she'd be on my daughter, take my daughter to the mark, to the all around Rose and buy stuff. People mm -hmm. who know. Mm -hmm. You know, even when she was coming by my ex girlfriend post mode, that was a nice time. You know? Mm -hmm. So before let me ask you, so before they lived in Warner, you said something about massacre. Your daughter used to live in massacre as no. well. <laughs> I'm talking about this year. Remember, you bring me close, you know. Uh -huh. You fast forward me close, so I give you this story close. Yeah, I just want to know the yeah. connection between Massac and your daughter. Take your brother Say something about Massac. Somebody yes, in Massac. my daughter was in Massac. That's why the adopting mom tell me she gets somebody that... Oh, okay, so now I understand. We, we plan our thing now because okay, we always, okay. we always in our world to we plan our thing. You see, somebody you're, you're can talking help the daughter better. And, and we need to understand. So, yes. so you are saying your daughter, Kanisha, was with the adopted parents yes and there it is the the, the lady that adopted her we made an arrangement yes. with For somebody some in massa yep. yes to to so your daughter could stay back yes and okay you know and i understand nature that are better. better nature are better you know okay, so an educator, yeah. i was 100 percent for that energy okay. for that because i i like that you know then that same february march mm -hmm. on the cap there I tried to call her the other week to tell her hey, where to meet you, mm -hmm. for me to know where my daughter is by wherever. Yes. I never get her again. I call her again, I get her, she tell me, I'm a little busy, you know, no, because she doesn't have gardening and a house I will call you back to give you a time where you can meet for me to come and, because she tell me I have my transport now, I have my, you know, so I thank God, you know, she, I want she, she tell me it's happy because I was so happy to make him know. Because I do have, I, but I find that 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 to me that sounds like a red flag eh, for me. Because if you're the father of, uh, 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 if you're the father and 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 the caretaker is saying, okay, I have somebody I can better educate and whatnot, you know what I cannot do, what the caretaker cannot do, and that person can do, and then the person in uh, herself is busy, too busy to to let you know. Want, maybe I don't know what kind of house, but if you're too busy, will you be able to take care of my daughter like that? Or will you give her the, the attention and stuff that she needs? If you're so busy and whatnot that I cannot even come and see where my daughter is. That's kind of, I'm not saying anything, you know, but I just find that an interesting one right there. What are your thoughts, guys? Of my own vehicle. So, after that happened, I tried to call, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. I didn't have that phone. So you've been calling all the time, not getting nothing, and the person doesn't answer or call you back? I mean, that to me is kind of, maybe just me. My other phone break. I didn't back up my... So the phone break after that? I to back up my, my contact on my So you Google. lost the contact. Mm -hmm. So I lose the contact and the screen broke. I say, wow, well, how are you going to get back? Let me <laughs> go back to scratch. But the mere fact the person not answering your phone, I mean, that, that is something else. Eh? Maybe the person checking the wanted daughter or something like that and figure, hey, I get a, a daughter to think, so they forgetting you. But I don't think that is a good thing at all. I don't think that's a good thing at all. The person might be an educator and whatnot, but you need to know the person's character as well. I'm not just saying, oh, you're an educator, you have how much degrees, you can teach my daughter how to do English and maths and so forth. But what about the characteristics of that individual? That characteristics doesn't seem like, you know, somebody that really cares about the biological father in relation to the daughter. And not that she has to do anything for the biological father, but the mere fact that you know that that is her father, I mean, that should point you in a direction that should, you know, unless she probably felt like she was too high for this guy and decided he wanted to come, but you want to take care of his daughter? I don't know. It's interesting. I have to go back to scratch. Mm -hmm. I go by the market several times where I know she 
Ask yeah. how them older people, you know. The, you know a long time, one of them tell me a long time she don't come in the hmm. market. So I say, what's going on? Hmm. Okay. For real? I send information to certain friends I know in Massac to say, I know my daughter, they say, if you see my daughter. My daughter was already there. Make contact and, you know, and so on. I myself to come Massac and sit down and, you, did, you know, I have one friend there, I, go, I was looking for me. I said to her, really help me, you know, find out links. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Hmm. I even go up the same grass in the area, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To find out if I seen her there, nobody was not there. Mm -hmm. So I say, what for me to do? Hmm. That's interesting. Really eh? for me to do. What really for me to do? I send out every, oh, everybody I know to, if they see, I know that, not that they did the caretaker, if they see her, they'll have to give me the, con the contact. I pray to God every night that she call me from to get back the contact because when I get back all my contact people call me back, mm -hmm. I store them back. So up till now. Hmm. Nah. That is how it ended and that is how I get to know what happened. Okay, so okay, so fine. Thanks for putting that in perspective for us here. Yeah. That 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 dot what? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. mm -mm. No sir. But anyways. Let me ask you a question. Based on your interactions with your daughter leaving at Warner, uh, did she tell you or did she not tell you how comfortable she was? Did she want to move from there? God have mercy. What, what, what was the situation like in Warner? I like, I like the way you, <laughs> I like that, you know, you're making it easier for me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Every time me and my daughter go out, every time I'd go, you know, visit my daughter, every time, even when... So he was very much involved in his daughter's life, which is a good thing. Last year, and my daughter, you know, we go out, we, you know, we pick up. When we go out and spend our whole day, and I buy stuff and so on, she said, Daddy, I don't want to go back. Hmm. Daddy, I don't want to go back. I said, God have mercy. Glass here, no, lofty. Mm -hmm. hmm. I said, okay. Daddy will try something again for you. Daddy going to try something, you know. For all of us. So what 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 was some of the situation she was pointing to well, why she didn't want to go back? Okay. Did so, she tell you? Certain times I would tell her, tell daddy why no man. Because you send it over and tell daddy why you don't want to stay there anymore because I don't see nothing wrong with adopted mother. Ketika. I don't see nothing wrong with her. I find she okay. So I tell her don't draw I go back last year to the welfare again I tell them look the same man come back to welfare the same, the same welfare that failed you before you going back to them again maybe they change your dirty ways man maybe the same man how do you say that more or less his own daughter come back because look you there we there yes yes we're right there because look she telling me certain things she not like she not comfortable they never hmm. check me again hmm. so if they did check him this most likely the girl would have been very much alive today so welfare has some part to play because it wasn't anything logical that they could say okay okay you did you did this you this that and they no factual nothing like that and now she's missing but anyways guys let's continue Over. My daughter, my daughter, but, um, I said, daughter, I think. I said, daughter, you, you, you 12. Not long for you to make 16 years. So if it was that time last year, she would have been 13 this year, from my understanding. Because that is the only thing I could think in my head. Because I tried to go in the right legal way. Daughter, I, tell, I talk to her like how I'm talking to you, and they let me down. Mm -hmm. Your mother, I don't know where your mother is. If she the earth alive so many part of the earth mm -hmm. or if she mm -hmm. dead because mm -hmm. one thing I forgot to tell you what the mother was always, always telling me. When she go, she'll never come back here again in Dominica. Hmm. I can never forget that in my head. Okay. So it seemed like the white man that the the the, 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 the missing girl's mother um um was with she 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 didn't she when she goes she says she can remember she had a certain life here brothers and sisters so that mother might be alive today but she might be gone does disappear because she checking she not gonna be there i mean in mere fact she had the, the little one in, in a, a kind of conditions she she really did, she really shows that she didn't care and then she concocted the story on the very guy that actually cared 
and welfare didn't listen well then again that's his side of the story yeah but um let's continue it stay in my head up to today i could hear her voice saying it all now in my head she didn't want to come back and she goes she's not coming back so hmm. i said daughter when you 16 years daddy will take you because you are consent now not far again hmm. but i tell her miska is like a mom to you i respect her get it respect her obey her that will have what will keep you until i ready for you until you mature enough so i could take you yeah but i i still we still want to understand Mr. what did she say from you did she that is kanisha your daughter mention any specific situation why she was not comfortable no so she just was saying she, she was, was just telling me in a basic mm -hmm. nutshell she not happy it's like <laughs> it's like she maybe wanted things. You always say it now, like the freedom mm -hmm. of a little girl, maybe to play mm -hmm. other children, or maybe. So as as he's saying that day, I can't remember the incident back in the day when you're talking about the guy when when the Kian, the madman, you know, hurt the the adopted um, girl's father, the father of. The, the father of the adopted girl. <laughs> the, I don't know what they call it. Adopted father. I don't know what it is. Anyways, um, the caretakers, the parent, the caretaker parent, the individual. When when the key and the madman um did his him him something on his his face. Remember, he stated that he had to climb up a hill. So apparently, where they were living was sort of an isolated area. So I'm guessing that the girl, the little one himself, wasn't comfortable living on elderly people. They were kind of elderly folk. Um you know of not elderly per se but you know persons that were old people not not really old people they look like maybe 50s then 50s around that time and she really didn't have nobody around to play with so she was kind of like a lonely lonely um youth there so i'm guessing that she probably wanted somebody to play with i guess when she was around them she she had little friends or whatnot and she felt like she wanted to be around people her age you know to play with and whatnot which makes sense because remember the initial story of the guy who got um um, um hurt by, by by the bad man he had to climb up a hill for him to get help so they were living in sort of an isolated area so i can understand right there to experience fun okay with children people her age yep you understand that is what i get get from the way she expressed try to yeah. tell her daughter I understand. For patience, you will get there. You will have the age because you're not small. You get in your growing. But you want to have the fun. Every though. time my daughter go out, I always is talking to her, to her to hold, keep the strength, keep the faith. Because I tell her, daughter, they let me down. Hmm. Well, they let you down. There to, to stand on my side, me. I don't know if she was there, if she would be come back to her normal. You know. Mm -hmm. To stand on my side. I mean, I don't know. I mean, when me and me, the, the mother break up, I used to see the mother plenty places in problem. Like people want to beat her up, and I used to come and I used to take blow for her, you know, only Rosa. <laughs> because it's my child mother, I didn't want her to. I feel you. I always have a mind she, she would change. Change her dirty ways. Or the better, but it didn't happen, so let her leave that alone. Um, I heard I heard that the house in which Kanisha was staying with the adopted parents did not have electricity. Can you can you but what is that? Yeah. So no wonder the girl wanted to go. Because in night time it probably candle had to burn. And seeing all her friends probably when she goes to school and whatnot, her friends have have thing, you know, devices or whatever, and she go home is bare darkness. So I understand why she would not want to stay there. That makes sense. But then welfare check this to know that that they didn't have light so they had come out man but it, uh, at the early stage they had solar panels they had, a solar panel oh, they had solar panels i don't know what happened to the solar panel if it got broken or whatever but okay. at the early stage they had their natural source of bringing their energies so they... okay so that would make sense uh, so let's get back to the day I, I i can see that you are going through some emotional pain at this time, but hold strong. 
let's go back to that very day the guys you know what that news i'll post that link in the videos like i said i i said that I'll, that link is in the in the video description you guys can check it out right there but the, the point the point and this is one of the points that i wanted to point out on the different things how bad they failed this missing girl right there welfare failed her welfare from his story they failed her and it's not now they're failing her. They failed her since she was three years old, according to what he was saying there. Three years old. They failed her again at 12. Now she's gone missing. Who do take blame? I put the blame on the popo. But if this girl wasn't there in the very place, the, but how do you how would you know? But then again, if welfare actually did their work and actually decided to go on and try to figure out how things were. And say okay he's definitely suited there's no nothing like this just the word of the of the mother saying these things you need to go and do some medical examination to find out if that is the truth of what the mother is saying and if that is not the case then the father should be the suitor but of course he was stating that he needed some help at that time you know i guess he was trying to make his way up and what have you and then from from the part i understood in this he used to stay with his um, father and the father didn't want him to stay, have girl there and this kind of things there. So I understand that party would want somebody else to take care until he can do it for himself. But when he can do it for himself, he's going to welfare and welfare still not listening. They're still not coming. So therefore, welfare failed that very girl right there. Because if, if welfare actually took on the details from what I'm understanding here, she would have been with him. She would have been happier. She would have friends and all those kind of thing, things there. And of course, she would not have been in Warner. True or false, guys? Let me your thoughts in the comment box below based on the information I, I received there thus far. And of course, I'll, I have that link in the in the comment in the in the description. You guys can definitely check it out right there. Uh, this is pretty much all about us for this year reaction. If you understand, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. Don't forget to download the app, brothers and sisters, and check out the aerial, the latest aerial video in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom, bam.